Hey guys and welcome to my channel. This video is for those of you that feel like you just seem to keep attracting narcissists and not only attracting them, but you're having relationship after relationship after relationship after relationship after relationship. We get the point here, right? So I'm going to give you 10 things that you might want to consider moving forward so that you can break this toxic cycle, okay? Because we're laughing right now, but it's actually really horrible and draining, okay? And you deserve better. So I'm going to go down the list. I don't know if you might need to do all of these things or just some of them, but let's go ahead down them, okay? Number one, I have boundaries, of course. You have to definitely make sure that you are setting and enforcing um, strong boundaries that benefit you and protect you, that you, you're able to speak up for yourself and stand up for yourself. OK, because obviously if you can't do that, the narcissist is going to run all over you and abusive people and toxic people in general. OK, number two, we got to make sure we have our self-love, our self-confidence and our self-esteem this way that we're not needy and we actually have standards. OK, guys, number three on here, I have be assertive and not passive. You know, a lot of times narcissists. They're attracted to people that are just passive. They're going with the flow. They're giving the control to somebody else. And to you women out there, there's nothing wrong with being submissive, but the man, you know, should not be using that to abuse you or put you in a worse position than when he met you. He's supposed to be uplifting you. All right. And being assertive doesn't mean that you have to be mean or even aggressive. It just means that you are strong enough to speak up. All right. But number four, I have actions over words. We all know in the love bomb stage that the narcissist, <clears throat> he made lots of promises, right? And we never, you know, recoup that stuff. So we have to slow down in the beginning and let people's actions show. No matter if they tell you everything that you want to hear, if they're unable to actually show that to you, you know, we can't just take everything at face value anymore. If anything we learn in narcissistic, from narcissistic abuse is to let the action show. And then sometimes in the love bombing stage, they may be acting like it's true, but give it time. Okay. And we'll get into that in another number further down the list. Oh, the next one. <laughs> Slow down. No rushing. We all know that the narcissist wants to go from zero to a hundred with you. They don't want to waste any time. They want to increase all the intimacy because they want to increase your trust. Therefore, lowering your boundaries, slow the relationship down, really get to know this person. And if they're unable to slow down, that's definitely going to be a red flag for you. What is the rush? Okay. They're in a rush for that supply. That's what the rush is. <laughs> The next thing is stay objective. So no premature attaching to someone emotionally. You meet them one day, they say all the right things and you're just falling head over heels. Just just off of the potential of what it can be because it feels good, you know, when someone tells you what you want. You enjoy someone's company, but understand every relationship has the honeymoon phase, but pump your brakes. Pump your brakes and see if it can endure. See how that works in the long term, okay? You get attachment, then when you get these attachments, you get the rosy colored glasses on and you stop seeing the person for who they really are. And it gets fuzzy and fuzzier the more attached you get. So you got to remain objective. All right, and that might mean, you know, no sex for you. I don't recommend jumping into sex anyway. Stop telling them all your personal intimate details and biggest secrets. This is creating massive um, intimacy, letting them into your inner circle like right off the bat. Let them earn that. All right, we got to stop doing that. That's what the narcissist wants. All right, the next thing is be healed and be at peace, okay? So if you're healing from narcissistic abuse right now, don't rebound into something else. Take, take the time to deal with yourself first before you go into another relationship because the more broken that you still feel, the more susceptible then you would be to, to um, attach yourself to another abusive person, okay? 
The next thing I have on here is be responsible for your own happiness. And I've said this in many videos. We're responsible for our own happiness and other people can only add to it. When you start, once you start relying on someone else for your happiness and then they leave you or they have a bad day where they can't tend to you and your needs and making you happy, then how are you going to be feeling? You got to take that control back for yourself, okay? Number nine, let them go when they show you, okay? All this chance after chance after chance, benefit of the doubts, that's over. <laughs> All right, especially early on. They can't keep it together early on. They should be on their best behavior. <laughs> and number 10, keep balance. When you get into a new relationship, don't saturate yourself with them. Keep your independence and your passions and your hobbies, guys, okay? Okay.